Hi, I'm Tim Tucker. I've been in consumer products for years, executive sales manager. I've built brands from the ground up and I've, I've managed established brands. I know what it takes when it comes to branding and I want to help you get there. If you have an international brand or you have a domestic brand and you want to build it here in this complex market, I want to try to get you started. So where do you begin? Well, four P's of marketing is a place where most people seem to begin. That's a standard marketing thing. Product, placement, pricing, promotion. Okay. But the complexities of this particular market here in the U.S. really present daunting challenges. And so I'm going to kind of give you a top line of where I'm going to take the brand. If you were to let me do this for you, this is where I'm going to begin. Number one, I'm going to start with the product. What differentiates the product? What makes it unique? Why would somebody want to buy that product? That is key. You know what's trending right now? Natural, organic, you know, non-GMO. All of that's trending right now. You got to know where the trends are and you got to be able to come to the table with something unique. Once you got something unique, now you got to present that value. And you got to figure out a way to be able to get it from point A to point B. You got the best product in the world since sliced bread, but how are you going to get it from point A to point B? If you're international, that presents even more challenges because you're coming into a market that you're not familiar with, with regulation and different things of that nature, getting the product here. It's very important, number one, that you know exactly what your objectives are and what it is you want to achieve. Do you want to get into every store or do you want to be able to do it from the ground up, build a niche following and build the brand on a solid footing? Being able to, to see what works, what doesn't, and are you willing to invest in it? So the first thing you got to find, a lot of times for an international brand, a reputable importer with a team of people that can get things done for you, bring it in, take ownership of it, and distribute it and get you those meetings, those key meetings at strategic retailers. Once that happens, now you're off to the races. Now you're in front of a buyer. You get to present what's great about that brand and, what, and why it's going to add value because ultimately you're not a sales manager. You're a solutions manager. You're trying to find solutions for that category buyer. That's all they care about. And if you can quantifiably present a reason for their category to grow with something that's really unique, you're going, to be, you're going to be doing very, very well very, very soon. So you got a unique product. you got a way to get it from point A to point B. Now you're talking about, okay, where's the opportunity? We've heard the term opportunity gap. Well, opportunity gap, what does that mean? That means your product that you're coming to the market with is going to somehow be able to fill that gap. Well, you've, you've, got, you've got the transportation taken care of. You've got the warehousing taken care of. you figured out the regulations. Now, what do you do with the opportunity gap? try to figure out. You look at the trends. Syndicated data will tell you if, if, if the category is doing this and, and, and their category is lagging behind, there's an opportunity there that your product can fill. You can do a forecast for them. You can say, you know, based on just this type of movement, I'll be able to fill in this gap for you and fill in this opportunity that, that right now you don't appear to have in your category. Man, you are presenting a solution immediately and any buyer is going to listen to that. And of course, by the time you get to pricing and promotion, you've already, you've already given a reason as to why you need to be in there. You've got a unique product. You know how to get it from point A to point B, and you're going to fill an opportunity. Pricing and promotion, yes, buyers are going to hit you up on that. They're going to ask you about pricing. They've got margin requirements they have to hit. And I tell you what, if you bring me on board, I'll explain all the different strategies that you can use with regards to pricing and promotion because every customer is different and they can all be customized to that specific customer and that's key, customizing it. There is not a one size fits all to pricing and promotion. Every customer is different and I guarantee you if you come to the table with a customized program, a planned out program, that customer is going to be in your camp from day one and you together with that customer, that retailer, that distributor are together going to truly partner and grow a brand together. Something that is incredibly fulfilling in my career, something that I've really, really enjoyed, and something I can't wait to do for your organization once you bring me in. I will grow sales and shares for your brand. So give me a call, 817-656-4435, or you can email me at lsuvike at sbcglobal.net.